Timor, featuring the man considered by many to be the top solo aerobatic performer in North America today. Coming all the way from Salinas, California, in that all-new Rig Rig custom-built biplane known as the Oracle Challenger 3, making his seventh appearance over the skies of Long Island. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for none other than Mr. Sean D. Tucker. Less than 30 feet tower. It's two and a half outside. Snap rolls on the way up, but Sean pushes that stick forward, performing a forward flip before he begins the rolls down on the 45 degree line. Remaining inverted now, high negative G's at show center. The quick half roll to upright begins the hooey loop. This is an inside outside loop with a tumble at the top. The first half is inside, or what we call positive G's, while the second half is outside or negative G's. As I started to mention, this is an all-new aircraft for Sean D. Tucker. You've probably seen Sean fly over the skies of Long Island in the past. That was in the Oracle Challenger 2. Sean reached the limits of that aircraft. It could no longer deliver the performance that he demanded, so our only option was to design and build this aircraft. It made its first flight less than seven weeks ago, and in that short amount of time, it has already accumulated more than 100 hours of flight, 125 pounds. However, it's powered by more than 400 horsepower, making it without question the most high-performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. And now watch closely at zero forward airspeed as Sean kicks hard full left rudder as he completes not one, but two consecutive hammerhead turnarounds. That is the Sean D. Tucker double hammerhead. Away from the crowd now, the smoke is back on as he spirals upward once he reaches the top. At very nearly zero, forward airspeed again, shoving that stick forward, performing the hexa on turnaround. Twenty-five feet above the water again, Sean slowly rolls that aircraft down in front of our friends at the Team Oracle Chalet. I invite you to walk out there, wave those bright red hats, because I guarantee you Sean is looking in your direction. Tumbling his way back now, he's going to make his way to show center. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think so far of Sean D. Tucker and this amazing hundred aircraft, the Oracle Challenger 3? Pushing his way forward now, Sean is well known for performing the world's smallest inside loop. Well, right there, the world's smallest outside loop. Over six negative Gs at the bottom end as he pushes his way back around and over the top. Pitching the nose up now, this is the alley-oop. This is, in fact, the world's smallest inside loop. Our air show season began approximately three weeks ago at Andrews Air Force Base in Washington, D.C. We will continue to fly throughout the summer, concluding our season in Houston, Texas in the middle of November. Fans, and now let's go live in the cockpit. Shawnee Tucker, are you with us?
Shawnee Tucker and the all new Oracle Challenger 3. Development tools and professional services for business and organizations worldwide. We invite you to attend Oracle Open World 2010, the world's largest event dedicated to helping enterprises harness the power of information. Oracle Open World will be held at the Moscone Center in San Francisco, California, September 19th through the 23rd. From right to left, as now, Sean is going to slowly pitch that nose back, dancing on the rudders again, bringing it around in the alley oop. But watch, instead of pushing that nose forward for the recovery, he continues to hold it up, maintaining an air speed of less than 25 miles. Stomping hard on that right rudder, full left stick as he completes that very flat full rudder turn. I would like to suggest, ladies and gentlemen, that you get your cameras ready because Sean is now going to set up for his low altitude, low speed photo pass. Come back. Sean is going to roll his way around it now. Set up for the final maneuver of this afternoon sequence. This is called the Harrier Pass. Named in honor of the awesome power and capabilities demonstrated by the United States Marine Corps AVAB Harrier. Set up at Air Show Center while using only 70% of his available horsepower to bring this aircraft to a hover in front of you. Championship Trophy. In addition, Sean is the first performer to ever win both the Bill Barber Award for Air Show Showmanship and the Art Show Royal Showmanship Award in the same year. Four years ago, Sean was named by the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum as being one of the 25 living legends in aviation. Two summers ago at the birthplace of aviation, Dayton, Ohio, Sean was inducted as one of the newest members in the National Aviation Hall of Fame. And just last November in San Diego, California, Sean, along with the Blue Angels, was inducted as one of the newest members into the San Diego Aerospace Museum Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Norris. It's always a pleasure to come fly in Long Island. We've got a lot of great friends here. We've got some family out here. And if you'd like to learn more about Sean D. Tucker and Team Oracle, you can find two places online. I invite you. Go to www.teamoracle.com. Also, visit Sean's fan page on Facebook. That is Sean Tucker, S-E-A-N.